Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be explaining how I got my hair from bright pink to blonde. So, here we are, blonde again. There's still like tiny bits of pink on my hair like through the ends, but it's not like that obvious. It's, it's like pretty much all blonde. But yeah, like the majority of it is blonde now and like the underneath is slightly pink um, and I'm just going to like continue what I've been doing and it will fade out eventually. But I really like the little bits of pink and I think they're quite cute. But anyway, let's start like right from the beginning, what I used and all that. So I used the Schwarzkopf Shocking Pink Hair Dye and it did turn the box that it comes with a conditioner that you can add into it to make it lighter. So I did that, I bought three boxes of dye and added all the conditioners and we still felt like we needed like another box so if my hair's quite long and quite thick it doesn't really look enough to straighten it yeah if you've got quite long hair I'd say get four boxes and if you're just gonna add just the pink maybe more because I added the conditioner as well um, and it did say that it was gonna take it more pastel it didn't we did leave it on for like, a bit longer than it said with the pastel because obviously we added all the conditioners and it's, I think it said like five minutes or something for pastel and I didn't want it pastel, I wanted it more like a mid pink so I thought I'd leave it on for a bit longer but no, it still went really bright so that's one thing I will warn you about this if you do want it like really pastel, don't don't get this one um, get something else probably I've had another pastel one, I think it was also from Swatchcloth I think it's called like Rose Blush or there was like a more purpley one I think I might have tried both before um, and they both come out quite pink if I have used the purple one but they've got a more like really subtle pink, which I've had before. I had that in the summer, which I absolutely loved. So I had it for my 18th birthday as well. So I love that one. So I get that one if you want to go for a lighter colour. But um, so it came out really bright pink, which not going to lie, I absolutely loved it. I wasn't like upset or anything that it came out really bright because I loved the colour. It was so like bold and like it all came out the same colour, like even it was it was a nice colour to have like have so I'm gonna like show a few photos of like the different stages of the pink this is how blonde I was before sorry about the quality of this photo just a bit just just a selfie from like the, the weekend that I went dance um but that's how blonde I was before and it was quite cool toned um and in certain lines my hair did look a bit green because I had overdone it with the purple shampoo so it wasn't that bad that I was putting pink on it to like can counteract that anyway and then this is what the colour looked like when it was on my hair. So it was very bright and it literally came out of that colour. Like the colour it goes on your hair, from my experience, is the colour that will it le that it will leave on your hair, if that makes sense. Um, and then this is it, like as soon as it was washed off. I think this was the same day or the day after. So I'd curled it and stuff. Have a selfie. This is it, pink. Um, yeah, love this colour. It was really nice. Um, I also uploaded a video where it's like freshly done as well. Um, it's just like a vlog from my day out, just showing you my hair, general chit chat things. I'll link that in the description. Here's just like a couple more photos of it. Bright pink from that day. And this is it after a, like three or four washes, I think. Um, someone had just done my hair in college. Thought it looked cute, decided to take a photo of it. Not the cutest background or anything like that, but that's the colour that it was. And then I don't really have many photos from like the mid pink stage. I don't know. I don't like take that many selfies in general anyway. There's a couple of ones from Nights Out. So enjoy those. Got to love a Snapchat filter. Yeah, so I, I did like the stage of pink as well quite a lot. And yeah, so it kind of like got to that stage and like a tiny bit lighter. And then um, I decided to try and bleach some of it out. So... The main reason I did this is because I got a job and I didn't know if they would appreciate me having bright pink hair. Um, I didn't really ask about that when I got the job, so I was a bit like, mm, don't really want to ask about it now. Bit bad timing. So I thought, let's just like take some of it out anyway. And I just wasn't like feeling it too much at this point. The colour was lovely, looking back on it now, it was a nice colour. For like my hair is like the first thing I change if I have any like problem in life it's just like if I don't film myself it's like yeah let's change my hair I don't know as well as like a photo go around on the internet for that it's literally me so we did that we did a bleach bath on it so it was like all over pink those photos that I've just shown you and then 
I thought, yeah, let's try and bleach something out. So we did a bleach bath. My mum is a hairdresser, so she did all of this for me, um, including putting the colour on as well. I do hairdressing in college, but I wouldn't trust myself to colour my own hair. Just because you can't see well enough. So yeah, for the bleach bath, we mixed the bleach powder with a bit of shampoo and I think a tiny bit of water, but we did it on wet hair anyway. So we put that on my hair and then left that for a little while. But with bleach, it's not really something that like says you've got to leave it on for a certain amount of time. you just kind of got to watch it. Keep checking the hair, making sure it's still strong enough. Wouldn't really recommend doing this on your own because this like bleach is quite a harmful thing to your hair so it can like burn your scalp and stuff and like really weaken your ha hair so I recommend getting help or like making sure you've done your research beforehand I wouldn't do it on myself just because you can't see well enough so we bleached that out and that worked really well that got out quite a lot of the colour considering we only did it once and yeah we didn't add any peroxide to the bleach it was just shampoo and a little bit of water. I think that's the mixture. But Google online or like do your research on bleach baths if you're going to do it. So yeah, this is the photo of what it looked like after we'd done the bleach bath. So it was basically like orange on top, which was expected because going from pink to blonde, not going to be easy. Um, so yeah, it was like kind of orange on top, which like a, like a peachy orange, I'd say. Which I actually really liked because I've sort of always be, been interested in having orange and pink hair. Um, I don't think I'd actually do it, but this was like kind of close. So yeah, just like when I see photos online, I'm like, oh, I like that. It's like peach and orange, pink, peach and pink. So yeah, this was like kind of a bit of like sneak peek of what orange and pink would look like, which I quite liked. Um, it's not styled or anything at this point. It was just a quick like mirror selfie just to send to one of my friends to show what it turned out like. And it was like, it's still quite dark on the ends. Because obviously my hair's quite porous so it's going to grab a lot more to there which is why it washed out of the top a lot more. Um, but I quite liked that, I quite liked having just the pink at the ends because it's like still pink but I felt blonde as well. Um, so it kind of made me feel a bit more like myself. And then these are just a couple more photos of like another photo of it with like pink on the ends but a bit more like blonde on the top and less orange. And another thing you can use as well if you don't want to use bleach on your hair to get more of the colour out quicker is to use either I think it's called a clarifying shampoo or like um head and shoulders or something like that like the like anti-dandruff shampoo because that like I don't know what the reason is but it just like takes the colour out of your hair a lot quicker which I actually did when it was like a darker pink to get it slightly lighter and to fade out some of like the dark pink so yeah just got a little bottle of this use that and like I put it on my hair and left it for like a couple of minutes whilst I was in the shower and like shaved my legs or washed my body or whatever um, and then washed that off and you can actually like see quite a lot of the colour coming out so yeah you can like tell it's working just by looking at your water but um, your hair does feel quite dry after this so what I always do anyway is because my hair is quite damaged in general um, always I just go and put on loads of conditioner and leave that on as well whilst I do other stuff in the shower um, just for like a few minutes every time just to like help put some condition back into it I just use like whatever conditioner that I've got since we use the bleach I have been using a purple shampoo as well this one's just the one from bleach London it's the smoky shampoo and it literally looks like almost black when you take it out yes yeah, so it's just the bleach London one they also do this for like different hair colours they got it in conditioner as well but I find that like I had the pink one before when I had pink hair, like a lighter pink hair, that when I put the conditioner all over and left that on it made my hair need washing lots more frequently. So that's why I just went with the shampoo. Just feels like it would like work a bit better for me than I can just put on loads of conditioner after. But not so much on the roots, if you catch my drift. So yeah, because with obviously the coloured ones, you've got to put it like all over. Um, this one's just more for like blonde hair. It's not for keeping your hair purple. Um, just to turn your hair a bit more of an ashy colour whereas the pink one was actually to make your hair like keep your hair pink if you've dyed it pink already but you can see that it's like a really really dark purple it's a bit shimmery as well but like yeah that's really dark so it does get a lot of the warm tones out your hair and I'm still working on trying to get some out now um, but it is back to like a lot more of like a normal blonde colour it's just not quite well, a little bit more like ashy, a little bit more cool toned. Yeah, so I used that to get out a lot of the orange tones in my hair. So again, 
with this one just like left it on for a couple of minutes and then washed it out um and if you've got like a lot of bleach highlights in your hair sometimes these if you leave it on for a long time can leave streaks of purple in your hair so just mind that and then like when i get out of the shower um i tend to use like an oil on my hair one of these will do never both I will say this one does smell a lot nicer and I used to have this one a long time ago and I do really like this one. This one does the job as well. I don't know, they're both good. Um, this one's in a foreign language, so I'm guessing you can get the same thing in the UK. Um, but this one we got when we was on holiday, I think from Turkey. So I'm assuming, assuming that that's Turkish. But this one's the L'Oreal one in this gold looking bottle. Don't really know what else to say about it don't know the name of it. But I just put like about three pumps of that on my hair when it's wet. Um, and then sometimes I'll put a bit on it when it's dry, but not that often, normally just when it's wet. Um, just to like help the frizz and help the condition. I'll do that before I blow dry it. And then normally as well, I will have a um, heat protector spray, but I don't have any of that at the minute. Um, and obviously I can't read the bottom on that one, so I don't know if that one's got heat protector in it. But this one does, um, it protects your hair up to 230 degrees. This one does have heat protector in it, so i probably say this one out of the two, and it smells like coconut, because um, it's got coconut oil and cocoa butter in there. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blend Hair Oil. And like general shampoo and conditioner, I just use whatever we've got. That doesn't really make much difference to me. I just use those ones because one of them will get the colour out, and then the other one will make tone out the brassy tones. So that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much back blonde now, there's just like a few bits of pink which will just wash out over time but I'm fine with them, I'm quite happy with those being there, I think they look quite cute um, and like if I put my hair up in like a bun or a ponytail like it looks nice with the little pink in the ends and I have got quite a lot of compliments on it so yeah and I did get a lot of compliments on it when it was bright pink as well obviously because it was more in your face. Um, if you've got any questions about my pink hair that I've missed out or that you just want to know in general feel free to leave a comment or message me on Instagram or whatever, I'd be happy to answer. That's pretty much it for this video. I think at some point in the future I will go back to the really pastel pink because I loved that colour. That was really nice. That was probably like one of my favourite colours. Yeah, because I've had that one like two or three times now and the really bright pink I've had twice now as well. I had that once when I was 15 and then once just like a few weeks ago. So that's fun. Yeah, I say if you want to dye your hair, just go for it. Like hair grows you can always re-dye it go for it why not it's fun something interesting to do that's pretty much it for this video been a bit rambly been a bit all over the place i need to start making these a bit more planned out so i really hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe leave a comment if you want um if you've got any questions or anything like that um my socials will all be linked down below the only one i really use is instagram which is at just jazz x and yeah, that's all for now. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!